Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi here. We're looking at question number eight. Which pair of ratios is equivalent? Probably your best approach on this, especially if you have a calculator, is to just check your cross products and see which pair give you equal cross products. So let's just take a look at choice A first. If we do three times 20, you should be able to do three times two in your head and just put the zero, that would be 60. And if we do 12 times five, ask yourself, is that also 60? So if it is, then you found it. If it's not, then go on and do the next one. So you would compare five times 24. So I'm gonna use the calculator for that. Five times 24, and we get 120. And ask yourself, is 15 times nine also 120? Let's use the calculator. 15 times nine, is not 120, it's 135. So that's an example of something you're not going to pick because the cross products don't match. This number is not the same as that number. You'll go through each choice. So you might do six times 24, come up with a number, do 16 times 10, come up with a number and see if the numbers are the same. If they're the same, then the ratios are equivalent. And go through each one. All right, good luck finishing that up.